What is up guys, Shazi here, back with another tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can easily create perspective bending effect on your Android device with PS Touch. Also, I'll be showing a drone world tutorial like this, also some crazy perspective bending uh, like this. So without wasting any more time, let's just dive right into this. So I have my clip imported here, so I'm going to duplicate this image and going to transform it. I'm going to rotate it by minus 90 degree which is counterclockwise and we're gonna flip it in the x-axis and just keep the top of the picture to the top left corner and click on the ok mark and we're going to take the polygonal selection tool we're going to show pointer for precision and just go and select this corner we're going to take out the top triangle so just make a diagonal selection then just make it a rough triangle you can select outside the picture because it's a new layer there's nothing in the uh, rest of the picture and we're gonna hit clear uh, so that's our basic effect done and now we just need to take the clone stamp tool and fix some uh, ridiculous things like uh, really obvious ships uh, things have been duplicated so just take the clone stamp tool hit the source button uh, just uh, if the object is vertical take the source from the bottom and the top it's gonna make it much more real don't take it from the sides so it's just trial and error just take out the things which you need you can also take out things from the bottom layer uh, the top one so just make it however you want you can take the create the shadows create some effects that's it so this is how it's gonna look after everything is done and that's it for this picture the second one i'm going to do a drone wall one so I'm just going to take the picture and I have already imported the two pictures you need a drone photo for this I took this from another youtuber he was doing this on photoshop I will give the credits in the description below I just took his sample photo so I can do it in photoshop touch uh, so the concept is same I just transcribed it to android versions so you just have to uh, adjust the top picture to line up with the bottom picture you can also use pixel nudge so after you have done this you can go and take the eraser tool and just increase the size and the decrease the hardness and flow and the opacity uh, just adjust it however you want and we are going to start erasing the edges so it's going to look fine so just make some circle so i, I have a bush here so circles are going to work fine uh, you're going to need to adjust it to whatever picture that you need so it's just trial and error you can keep the undo button <laughs> on your side uh, just make it larger smaller do whatever you want so i'm going to do the road later uh, also make the bushes nice and clear mm, you can take out things that you don't want also keep things which you can so you have to do this and after you have uh, done whatever you like i'm just going to do the road just uh, decrease the size and uh, do the sides uh, just make sure that it's really blended in so there won't be any artifacts that's gonna make it look really obvious that it has been retouched so make it uh, should do however you like just make it look okay so after you have done this uh, you're going to need to crop this photo also you need an uh, to make an empty layer and just take the width of your photo and just increase the height by a lot so after you have done this you can go into crop crop image and just going to crop it however you want till the picture ends and that's just about this picture so let's get right into the next one so this picture takes the basic principles of the first picture just we are going to do the bend upwards so we are going to take out the bottom triangle uh, so we are just going to do the same thing go to transform flip it by in the x-axis rotate it 90 degree and keep the bottom half to the bottom left side of the picture click on the ok mark and we are going to again take the polygonal selection tool click on show pointer for extra precision uh, just going to uh, take out the triangle bottom triangle and just find a rough place here it doesn't have to be an exact triangle you just have to uh, make a triangular shape uh, I just realized we need to take the bottom triangle here so I'm going to inverse the selection 
and click on clear which is going to clear the photo for us so that's one side of the done so we are just going to deselect it and take the next side and we're just going to drag this to the bottom so I, we don't have to deal with it now so click on the transform button now we are going to flip it and this time we're going to rotate it to negative 90 degrees means counterclockwise so that's uh, one thing to notice and arrange the bottom to the right uh, bottom and again click on show pointer for extra position and take out the bottom half and that's it just make a rough shape and just take out the bottom half of the picture and click on the clear button and that's gonna do it so our basic effect is done like the previous two uh, previous first one we just going to take out the obvious artifacts something that has been doubled a couple of times like the huts here or some bushes or anything you like just same principle go to and take the clone stamp tool and just do it and also this is a vertical object so take the source from the top and the bottom side not from the side like i do also make sure you select the layer which you are working on uh, so you have the actual results so it's just going to take some time just finessing basically finessing these small things make up the picture so i guess that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this is the final picture and see you in the next